jack it up.
You never quite know what's going to happen in this all-London fixture. West Ham United against Chelsea here at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. Stuart, former West Ham player, of course. What should we be expecting today? Well, if West Ham play at their very best and close Chelsea down and stop them playing, they could cause an upset here today. They're a good team when they're playing at home. This could be a really tight game. Ben Rama. Oh, he looks threatening. Oh, showing excellent vision. In it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. So Chelsea get things going again. How will they reply to that setback? Well, visionary passing. Defended well. Jorginho. Romelu Lukaku now. Alonso.
And Chelsea looking dangerous. Conte. Now just the tackle that was needed. Declan Rice. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. And a good tackle. Antonio. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Lukaku. Pavets. And back with Jorginho. And a fine stop. No mistake from the keeper. Will it be punished? Havertz. Not good hands there from the keeper. And very deftly cut out. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Lukaku! Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Suchek. Said Benrama. Rice. He's in here. Well, a wasted opportunity. It would have been a decent chance, but offside the decision. Kai Havertz. Jared Bowen. Playing with purpose and control. Antonio. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. West Ham recovering possession. Defensive efficiency personified. Vladimir Kuval. Said Benrama. Promising sequence. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Havertz. Jorginho tackling and winning the ball to boot. Declan Rice. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. And with that... And the second half underway. West Ham with the lead. But I tell you what, it's a long way from being settled. Can he finish this? And that is defending of the highest order. Kai Havertz. Options in the centre. Not away completely. And problem solved for now. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, he's given it away. Conte. Conte has lost the ball. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Good pressure to win the ball back. This looks promising out wide. And Golo Conte. Mount. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. Well, not cleared away completely. Simple save, really.
Suchek. In possession, Dawson. Declan Rice. Suchek. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Really good challenge. 20 minutes to go. Conte. Mount. It's looking promising. Lukaku might fancy it, you know. Well, when it left the boot, I thought it might have a chance of fooling the keeper, but it didn't. Jared Bowen. Encouraging move from West Ham. Conte. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Jorginho. Well, no problems defensively. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, these West Ham fans are making so much noise here. The atmosphere is incredible. Surely this must be inspiring those players to hang on. Can he finish them off? Oh, a goal! And that wasn't part of the plan. A known goal it is, and no wonder his head is slumped. So, an own goal, and now they are chasing this game. And he's taken it away. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. So, the final whistle, and Chelsea take nothing... When you want to get off their darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too
And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Well, opting for the short corner. For Niles. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Jared Bowen. Nicely timed tackle. Oh, lovely incisive pass. And that will be a corner. Favouring the short one. Cuts it back. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. Extremely sloppy in possession. Andre Gomes. And it might be. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. They take it short. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. 1 0 then. Declan Rice takes some progress with the ball at his feet and pulled back 
and struggling to get the shot off. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? So, 2-0 now. Disappointing pass. Into the advanced position. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Jared Bowen. Saeed Benrama. Interception to snuff out the danger. Not a free kick awarded by the referee. And he gets away with a warning here. Well, he decided to take it on. How close it was. Well, I thought that was coming into the box. It takes a lot of confidence to try that. Not rewarded on this occasion, though. Well, as you can see, Everton have had most of the ball and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Andre Gomes. Retaining possession, proving difficult. Couldn't keep it. And room now out on the wing. And teammates to play it to. Gray. Teammate available. Just cutting off the supply. And with that, the attack fizzles out. A really sumptuous ball. And the whistle. Well, the ball moving again here, with Everton very much in charge after the first half. Will it be a repeat performance this half? Gordon. Gray. Chance to finish. Foiling his opponent completely. Now can they counter clinically? Suchek. In possession, Bowen. Antonio. And a strong tackle. And Gordon now. Is this the moment? The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Said Ben Rama. Yeri Mina. Luca Dinia. Promising looking ball. And a corner kick, the referee's verdict. Taken short. Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. Vital interception, the danger was very real. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, great read there to intercept. He continues his run. And a tidy challenge. Chance to make a game of it here. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. And the counter looks on here. Options available. In with a chance. Couldn't grab hold of it. A oh, tremendous block. And getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Townsend. Interception to snuff out the danger.
And we're inside the final 15 minutes. Jared Bowen. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Antonio flinging himself at it, the keeper. Well, could this be the turning point? The fans are certainly hoping so. Nodding it over. Well, he was more determined than his marker, but he just couldn't get it on target, could he? And given away. Fruitful looking attack. No high quality defending. Gray. Difficult to stop him. Pulls it back. In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Press well, and with that, the attack fizzles out. Oh, he's given the ball away. And we will have just one additional minute. And it's full time here, and the big story is...
Joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson, and we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Chelsea versus Everton. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Gray. Cutting the ball back. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kepa begins in goal. Thiago Silva plays with Andreas Christensen in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And here's how Everton line up. Asmir Begovic is the goalkeeper. Luka Dina plays with Seamus Coleman in the fullback positions. Andre Gomes plays alongside Abdoulaye Dukure in central midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Turning inside, where's he going to go? Coleman. Excellent passing. Townsend. And possession given away. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner. Oh, then... Stuart, they must score! Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. It will be. In position. Well, he had clearly drifted into an offside position. Well, you can see from his reaction, he knew that wouldn't count. Ziyech. A fine use of the ball. Tremendous ball played through. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. So Everton restart the game, well aware that the pressure has been applied. How will they respond? Well, they have it again. He will be. And now Ducure. Perfect tackle. Well, it's been quite clear that Chelsea have been second best in terms of possession, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Werner. Oh, they've lost it. Beautifully weighted ball. So Everton trailing and looking for inspiration from this corner. They'll repeat the threat. Corner again. And played short. Gordon. And Gomes. Werner with it now. And he did well to cut it out. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Gomes. Townsend. Ducure. And here's Andre Gomes. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. So underway again. Chelsea with the lead, but absolutely no room for complacency. Ziyech. Conte now. Werner. Jorginho. Oh. 
on the ball, Coleman. Well, typically influential in the first 45 was Jorginho. What do you think of his performance? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Outdoing his opponent. But a good piece of tidying up. Ziyech. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Oh, a fine block. Sounds in. Breaking at pace. Andre Gomes. Everton just couldn't hold the ball. Hudson Odoi. Jorginho. Now oh, showing excellent vision. Well, it might still work out for them. And problem solved for now. Well, I don't think they've been at it today. But maybe, just maybe, that great save will inspire them now. Ziyech. Everton doing well to win back possession. And that's an important intervention. What can Chelsea do from this position? Possession given away, unfortunately. Well, as you can see, Everton have had most of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. And cutting inside. Andre Gomes. Strong but fair tackle. Townsend. Here is Andre Gomes. They're making high pressing work for them here. And they could really get at the opposition. Well read to put an end to that attack. Werner. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go. And just one goal between them. Well, these Chelsea fans are making so much noise here. The atmosphere is incredible. Surely this must be inspiring those players to hang on. Everton with the ball again. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Great pressure to win the ball back. Townsend. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. So there goes the final whistle, and this hasn't gone.
Well, you never quite know what's going to happen in this all-London fixture. West Ham United against Chelsea here at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. Stuart, former West Ham player, of course. What should we be expecting today? Well, if West Ham play at their very best and close Chelsea down and stop them playing, they could cause an upset here today. They're a good team when they're playing at home. This could be a really tight game. It should be! It's still alive! The high press was very much on. And he read it really well. Fine save. Who can they pick out? Still not clear. Well, they can keep possession of it now. For Niles. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. And taking it away. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Kai Havertz starts with Mason Mount on the flanks. And operating an attack today is Romelu Lukaku. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. I couldn't really direct it where he wanted. Antonio. Suchek. Encouraging move from West Ham. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Not the pass he had in mind. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Went in strongly, decisively. Well, great read there to intercept. Antonio, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, as those stats show us, Chelsea haven't controlled the possession of the game. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas. Well, the chance is on, Stewart. Brilliant save. And there's the delivery. And a fine stop. Can he make it count? Well, it might still work out for them. Given away by Chelsea. He takes aim. And a goal! And you've got to say, they definitely took a deflection off the defender. Well, a second goal for them here. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Jared Bowen. Antonio. Pablo Fornals. It looks promising. Antonio could reduce the deficit, and he does. There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. So, back underway, can West Ham find another one? Well, getting close to the half-time interval, and the story so far are not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take. Well, it's been a good game so far, and they've played a big part in that. But if they are to get back into this, they need to be more disciplined. Takes it on. Really sound defending. Very quick thinking there. The first half here comes to an end. Well, the ball rolling again. West Ham trailing after the first half. Can they come up with a response here in the second?
Aaron Cresswell. Declan Rice. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Crisp tackling. And as they continue to pass it around, the attack goes through Lukaku. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Yes, I think he's done quite well in the first half. He certainly looked comfortable on the ball, but he needs one or two others to start performing if they're going to get back into this game in the second 45 minutes. Making sure it didn't get past him. Into the advanced position. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Mount. He read the situation defensively and did his job. So a half an hour remaining. Ben Rama. Suchek. Promising attack this. And options in the centre. Rice. Surely the equaliser. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Promising looking ball. Well, the decision is offside and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball. And that's why it's offside. Well, no stopping him. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Counter-attacking, very much an option. There are so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Well, as you can see, West Ham have had most of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Hitting it with the accuracy he was hoping for. Well, he took a chance there, and he probably regrets it now. That was the wrong decision. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Lukaku. Mount. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident, and not giving the opposition much of a look in. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Going well, but ultimately up a cul-de-sac. And got a Conte. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper for you. Jared Bowen, committed challenge. Kai Havertz, and he read it superbly. Couldn't hang on to it again. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Can he get one back? Oh, a goal! And that wasn't part of the plan. A known goal it is, and no wonder his head is slumped. So the final whistle, and what we can say of it. The high press.
Hello and welcome. This is the scene here in East London, in Stratford to be exact. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's West Ham United facing Everton. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Antonio. Vladimir Kufal. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Said Benrama. Dukure. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Oh, breezing past him. Benrama. Couldn't hang on to it. This looks promising from Everton. And Gomes. Chance to put them in front. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. So West Ham get us moving again. And a swift response required after the setback. Kurt Zuma. Good work from Everton to win the ball back. Delightful pass. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Alert defending. Room to roam on the wing for West Ham. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. For Niles. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Oh, could it be Antonio? No way through. They favoured a short one here. Really good high press. Space and time for the cross. And a throw in it's going to be. Suchek. In possession, Dawson. This looks interesting. Splendid defending. And there's the delivery. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Well, Everton haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Andre Gomes. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Not a good pass. Promising looking attack from Everton. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Antonio. And we will have just one additional minute. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage. Well, the ball rolling again. West Ham trailing after the first half. Can they come up with a response here in the second? Dukure. Here is Andre Gomes. 
Can he put it away? And what a magical save it was! Now the short corner routine. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Ducure. Great effort to keep that one in play. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Very difficult challenge to perform, but he succeeded. Room to roam here for Everton. Ducure. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. Eccentric goalkeeping. It's there for him. Oh, there it is! The mistake punished to the maximum. And the goalkeeper left distraught. Huge error. Well, a second goal for them here. Gomes. It's with Ducure. Can he put it in? A vital piece of last ditch defending. And intercepted it. He might be able to profit from the wide position. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Bit wasteful from Everson. Kurt Zuma. Said Ben Rama. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Well, can they open up the defence here? Rice. And a very good challenge. Well, high quality defending. Gomes. Ducure. In position. He can't hold on to it. Pressing high to win the ball. Declan Rice. And it's with Tomas Suchek. Rice with it. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. Well read to ease the pressure. He's found a pocket of space. And a corner kick, the referee's verdict. Keen to take it short here. And pull back. In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. This is looking rather comfortable. The whistle for full time and a bad day at the...
the technical and tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Chelsea versus Everton. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Ziyech. Intercepting it intelligently. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Thiago Silva. Oh, what a chance this is, Derek. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And away they go again. What effect will that goal have on Chelsea? We're going to find out. Substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch, number 16, Edouard Mendy. Coming onto the pitch, one. And Everton pushing forward with options available. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. He succeeds in clearing it. Timo Werner. Now with Jorginho. Conte. Ziyech. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Well, a good tackle. High quality defending. And they deal with the threat this time. Now well, Chelsea unable to retain possession. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Gray. Look at Dinia. Well, it wasn't a great pass, was it? Gordon. Sounds in. And this situation could be dangerous. Bit wasteful from Everson. Over the touchline for a throw in. Well, that's a completely wasted throw in. Opportunity. And able to get a body in the way. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. Andre Gomes. And they have possession again. What a shocking pass, really. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Hudson Odoi. James. So a throw in here. And they know they need to stop him. And now passing it through. A goal for Chelsea, who've got themselves on level terms. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences.
It will be. On the ball, Andros Townsend. Alert defending. The one player who had a lot to say for himself in the first half was Hakim Ziyech. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half, as they've struggled at times today. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Thiago Silva. Now with Jorginho. Conte. Pulisic. Played into the centre. Can he apply the finish? And Pulisic has it. Just made sure nothing came of that. And he's won the ball. So a half an hour remaining. Now can they counter clinically? Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, the good value for the lead. So there we have it, 2-1. Moving forward effectively. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door as he did then. He will be. And cut again from the flank. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Couldn't keep it. Good pressure high up the pitch. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Oh, great vision. Can they cover up? Has someone to play it to. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop and then the reaction. Ray. Options in the middle. Look at Tinia. Oh, good looking run. Can he take the chance? Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Ten minutes to go. Opportunity it is. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. And plenty of room in the wide area. And forward they go again. Can they win this? Andre Gomes. Well, there to intercept. Ducouré, Gray. What can they do from this corner? The minutes ticking away in this game. Gordon. And there's the whistle, all even at the end.
to get off that darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too Commentary midfielder Stuart Robson, and it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's West Ham United versus Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, 
playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. More than decent this from United. And West Ham have possession again. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Pablo Fornals plays with Andriy Yarmolenko out wide. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. And taken away. He won the ball. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Good technique displayed. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Ronaldo. For Niles. Vladimir Kufal. Said Benrama. Possession changes hands. The interception there. be the moment to get them ahead oh and a goal from Cristiano Ronaldo cometh the hour cometh Ronaldo so the match has restarted 1-0 here Mason Greenwood encouraging stuff from United but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end Said Ben Rama. Lanzini. Lanzini. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Just cutting off the supply. Zuma pressing high to win the ball. Now Paul Pogba. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Craig Dawson. Well, getting close to the half time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take. Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back now, into this. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. And a goal! They've increased their lead, and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, a second goal for them here. Van de Beek and Rashford considerable momentum courtesy of Ronaldo but what can he produce from here and it's gone behind for the corner going short sends it back The first half here comes to... So off and running again, and there was a real golf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from West Ham in the second? Pogba. Sancho. Splendid tackle, and the outcome is a corner here. And short it is. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. And the short option preferred. Short attempted. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now.
easy one to cut out, really. And the captain looks on here. Options available. Defenders need to cover. On the door, a broken counter attack. Marcus Rashford. Shaw. Oh, good vision. Ronaldo. It looks promising. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Beautifully disguised ball. Not going to get away with that because it's offside here. And he shouldn't be offside there. He's gone too early. And that's a waste of a great opportunity. Really good interception. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Craig Dawson. Here is Zuma. Zuma. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Can he put it away? And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Now well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. He's got the right idea with that pass. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. On they go again, and United beginning to run away with this. Can the owner of the blue car please return to your vehicle? The lights are on. Excellent vision, but the flag goes up offside. Well, he just needs to play that a bit sooner. The pass was definitely on. Fine teamwork to win it back. Paul Pogba. Sancho. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Well, nearly there, this game almost over. And looking at the fans, Stuart, they appear to me to be more than a bit gutted. Well, this is certainly a performance to forget because they've been totally outplayed today. How many times have they been opened up during this game? They have to defend better than this. It's been a dismal display. Rashford. And United have the corner. Trying to deliver it accurately. Aerial opportunity. Couldn't take it. Well, he did well to get to the ball first, and he's unlucky there. He just got too much on it. Oh, he's given the ball away. And it's United's turn now. Pogba. And that's not going to worry the keeper. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. The whistle for full time, and a bad day at the office. As
Hello and welcome. This is the scene here in East London, in Stratford to be exact. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's West Ham United and they take on Arsenal. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. We'll take it away. He won the ball. Lacazette. Jared Bowen. Antonio. Ben Rama. Working really well as a team to regain possession. Nicely cut out. Bukayo Saka. Well read to put an end to that attack. And fed forwards. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Well, that is how to run at defenders. And Lacazette. And still looking for space. Excellent block. And nicely cut out. Lacazette here. Onto Aubameyang. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. It might still be problematic. And problem solved for now. Ben Rama. Jared Bowen. And he could really get at the opposition. Skipping away. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. And underway again, it's West Ham in front. Saka. Chance to play it in. Tomiyasu. Lacazette. Able to get a body in the way. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Well, that was a guilt-edged opportunity for the equaliser. Well, I'm not sure how he's missed the target from there. That's a poor effort. Well, as you can see, West Ham haven't had that much of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Aubameyang. Can he put it in? He's foiled them on his own. Oh, he looks threatening. And it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper. Arsenal level. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Good movement. Partey. And Aubameyang now. Possibility for Aubameyang. 
and he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him, and no wonder he's enjoying himself. And the Hammers get the ball moving again. Will there be a quick reply from them? There needs to be. Partey. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Opportunity it is. And never in any doubt from the keeper. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? For Niles. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Bukayo Saka. Couldn't keep it.
darkest is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town. Here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Manchester United up against Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Saka. It's opening up for them. Well, spot on with that challenge. This looks interesting. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Really good high press. Real chance. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Van de Beek. Pogba has it, good movement, Van der Beek, it's Arsenal's turn now, Lacazette, Obama Young, plays it back, And no wonder the goalkeeper is looking up at the sky in disbelief. Action underway once more. Let's see if United have the wherewithal to square the game. Well, it's a poor tackle. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Kai Osaka. Lacazette. Sloppy in possession from Arsenal. He's going forward well here. Dangerous looking attack. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper.
Rafael Varan. Pogba has it. Possession seeded by United. Obama Young. Lacazette is in the centre. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved a goal. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Running room galore for United. Mason Greenwood. And they need to get tighter here. And for Pogba. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, it petered out. Ronaldo. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. It will be very instructive to see how Arsenal respond to that setback. Opportunity here. And that will do it for the first half. Back underway with Arsenal trying to find a route back into the match. Obama Young. Given away by Arsenal. And he read it well, intercepting it. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a very good first half, and key to that was his movement. Time and time again, he got in behind the opposition, and he was a real threat throughout the game, and I'm sure we're going to see more of him in the second half. Can he finish? Foiling his opponent completely. Arsenal trailing, but they have a corner. What can they do with it? Favouring the short one. Sends it back. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Now sending it in. Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. Rashford. So a throw in here. Well timed tackle. Dangerous looking through ball. It might be the moment for Ronaldo. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. And it's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three one it is. Ronaldo. Unable to keep possession. Lacazette here. And in the perfect position to read it. Pogba. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what can he produce from here? So on with the game again, United in charge, the scoreline threatening to get ugly. Lacazette, they've won back possession. Albert Sambi Lokonga, Arsenal have given it away. Van der Beek. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, not far away from full-time now, and United excelling here. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. 
They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Opportunity in the wide area. Arsenal have possession again. Pogba. Sancho. Teammate available. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. It's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Paul Pogba. Ronaldo. And he keeps going. Manchester United throw in here. A chance to whip it in. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Ronaldo. So the referee's whistle means full time and it goes into the books.
And they kick off here. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Alphonse Areola between the posts. Pablo Fornals plays with Andriy Yarmolenko out wide. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea stands between the posts. Harry Maguire plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Donny van de Beek starts alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. Mason Greenwood starts together with Cristiano Ronaldo. Can he put them in front? Couldn't quite hang on. Oh, so near, off the post. Well, they won't come closer than that. So unlucky not to take the lead there. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. But mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time. Said Benrama. Neat interception by Pogba. Playing advantage here. United keep it. And teammates to play it to. Well, no pressure on the keeper. Poor cross. And he saw the situation developing. Can they convert? And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. And the Hammers get the ball moving again. Will there be a quick reply from them? There needs to be. And he's won the ball. The game and the coach will meet you at the table to skip past his man. Van der Beek. And it goes! Two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. So 2 0 now. Well, beating his opponent. It looks promising. Could pull one back here, and he does! He's thrown his team a lifeline, the belief is back! Well underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Well, it's one pass after another. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. And now, passing it through! Fantastic stop. Sancho. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Noble. Well, inching towards half-time, and probably fair to say the fans were hoping for a little bit... Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. Shaw. Here's Ronaldo. Donny van der Beek. Ronaldo. It's now with van der Beek. Well, the ball rolling again. West Ham trailing after the first half. Can they come up with a response here in the second? Noble. Said Benrama. And it's Mark Noble. Antonio. And he's in. 
Well, he had the chance. He went for power. He might be regretting that now. Well, he got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor miss. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Yes, I think he's done quite well in the first half. He certainly looked comfortable on the ball, but he needs one or two others to start performing if they're going to get back into this game in the second 45 minutes. Well, putting it wide from there, disappointing. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Jared Bowen. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. Well, he strayed offside just as it looked promising. It is to be a throw in. Yarmolenko. Said Ben Rama. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Excellent. And will it be the leveller? Oh, the goal! Level now! The lead has evaporated! So the ball is running again at 2 all. Robbed them. Delightful pass. Could be dangerous. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. And failure to keep the ball by West Ham. Pogba. And a good tackle. And West Ham in a position of menace. Could play it in. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Pogba. Mason Greenwood. Great pressure to win the ball back. Van der Beek. Pogba. Sancho now. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Van der Beek. On to Ronaldo. And a chance to whip it in here. Pogba. Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? A very good tackle. And it comes down to the final five minutes. More than decent this from United. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Now high quality defending. Said Ben Rama. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. And there it is, the final whistle.
and welcome. This is the scene here in East London, in Stratford to be exact. We're at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's West Ham United and they take on Arsenal. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. Possibility for Aubameyang and the keeper showing tremendous command. Trying to pick out a teammate, and the danger still on. Well, nothing comes of it, and they do like to press whenever they can. Underway again here, 1 0 the score. Promising looking attack from West Ham. And a timely intervention. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. Saka. Will it be? Oh, a superb save. So the corner played into the box, and still dangerous. Can they forge ahead? Obama Yang, is it going to be brilliantly blocked? Now sending it in. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Well, nothing untoward happened. And now he must score. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. It will be very instructive to see how Arsenal respond to that setback. It's a high-level tackle. Brilliant. Lokonga. Did well to win the ball back. Suchek. An alert piece of defending. Breaking at pace. Will they profit from this situation? But quick thinking defensively. He read the situation defensively and did his job. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. And a goal! Calls for celebrations again! Two in front! So back underway, 3-1 the score. And the attacking options appear plentiful. to take on the shot and what a magical save it was and over it comes not quite the clearance they were hoping for well a good tackle Obama Yang well, it was a menacing attack but tidied up and so it is the first half story
Into the second half then, and Arsenal with a real mountain to climb. Obama Yang getting in there to take it away. Thomas Saka. And return to Lacazette. Perfect challenge. And breaking at pace with Menace. Well, it petered out. On a pass that lacks quality. Well, as you can see, West Ham haven't had that much of the ball. But their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Could reduce the deficit. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. And intercepted it. And into the last 30 minutes now. And promising stuff from Arsenal. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Lokonga. Lacazette here. An alert intervention. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. An authoritative challenge. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. And the flag has gone up just when he looked ready to pounce, perhaps. Well, he was just too static in the end, which is a shame because that was a dangerous situation. He's given it straight to the opposition. For Niles. Well, they couldn't hang on to it, West Ham. Lokonga. Throw into Arsenal coming up. And a long way out here, and foiled only by the crossbar. Not to be advised, giving the ball away in that position. And the keeper stretching to deny him. So the corner played into the box, and clears the danger. Jared Bowen. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. An unforced error, you've got to say. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Options in the middle. Kieran Tierney. Advantage, Arsenal. Can he get one back? He can! And who's to say there's not enough time for them to level matters? It would be quite the story. So the referee's whistle means full time.
Floodlights are shining down on the players here at Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester United versus Arsenal. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. Takes the shot. Oh, a good diving save. They take it short. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. Gets it back. Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. Great pressure to win the ball back. Rashford. Ronaldo, Pogba, and now Rashford, Pogba, can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Teammate and support. 
Wan Bisaka. This is Varan. Perfect tackle. Pogba! And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Well, the crowd are driving their team on here. They're surely going to score soon. It is to be a throw-in. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Ronaldo! The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Plays it back. The ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Lacazette. Now, let's see what they can do here. Now, let's see about the cross. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. So back underway, following the equaliser. And the base. Top class defending. Tierney. Arsenal struggling to keep the ball. Donny van der Beek. They couldn't maintain possession. Can they hit on the break? Albert Sambi Lokonga. And Aubameyang in control of the ball in that advanced position. Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho. Oh, surely! And there is the goal to re establish their advantage! On they go again, and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Van der Beek. Here's Luke Shaw. Van der Beek. Crossing possibilities. Precise ball movement. Sancho. Well, no stopping him. Magnificent defending. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Back underway with Arsenal trying to find a route back into the match. Oh, big opportunity! Well, what a stop that was! And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Sends it back. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space. And his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat-trick in the second half. Disappointing pass. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Lokonga. Kieran Tierney. Arsenal have given it away. Decent position. An incisive pass. Are on a victory 
Jones. So they get the ball moving again. 21 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Saka. Tomiyasu. And can they prize them open now? Parse. Lokonga. A good and fair challenge. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see, and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch, and I don't think anything's going to change that. We'll be impressed here. 20 minutes to go in this one. Not a good pass. Albert Sambi Lokonga. And Obama Young now. And Lacazette. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Pogba. Well, Manchester United all powerful. They've accelerated away in this one, Stuart. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play. Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score! And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Bukayo Saka. Ten minutes to go. Lacazette. Lokonga. Alert defending. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Ronaldo! Well, flinging himself at the ball. And over it comes. And the problem not completely solved. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. And just losing control of the ball, and it will be a throw-in. And it might be a favourable situation, this, for Manchester United. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. The final whistle, and the Gunners go down. They've lost this game.
Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It is Bayern Munich up against Eintracht Frankfurt. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Here's the initial 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Benjamin Pavard plays with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Marcel Zabitzer plays with Leon Goretzka in the centre of midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Christopher Lentz. He has time to play it over. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. Well, the ball is moving again. Can Bayern come up with the right reply? Marcel Zabitza. A fine use of the ball. Coman. And that pass could be troublesome. And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long! So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Playing with purpose and control. But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. And Bayern Munich now in potentially a dangerous position. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. So back underway. Bayern leading here. Kostic. The referee is given a corner. And a no-nonsense clearance. Marcel Zabitza. Well, Bayern have controlled the majority of possession. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. And he takes on the shot. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Short corner it is. Coman. On to Gnabry. Can he take the chance? And not an effort for his own personal scrapbook. The high press was very much on. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, the short corner routine. Plays it back. Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. They've got it now. What can they do? Bore. And with that, the first half draws to a...
Well, off and running again, and still reflecting on a spellbinding first-half performance from Bayern. Will we see more of the same in the second 45? Niklas Zule. The ball with Zabica. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Daichi Kamada. Can he get one back? Well, how on earth did Manuel Neuer get there? He's driven in the corner. Not all that convincing defensively. And I think the threat has been averted. Sané. Cuts it back. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Da Costa. Now Boré. Space afforded him. Daichi Kamada. In it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3 2 at the moment. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? Christopher Nentz. Kostic. Well read to put an end to that attack. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Rafael Santos Boré. He's given it away. Kostic. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. Chance to equalise here. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Keen to take it short here. And a useful cross. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Can they get in behind them? Da Costa and players waiting in the centre and spot on with that challenge now can they counter clinically and it's offside that was very close and here they come still pressing for an equaliser Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. And offside by a very small margin. Leon Goretzka. And the cross is very much on. Oh, surely! And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! So the current scoreline, 4-2. danger here as he runs at them can he do it and there it is that will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts <laughs> and just one minute of time added on for stoppages a move of promise on the flank and that is going to be that well
As usual, it's Stuart Robson, and very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It is Bayern Munich up against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And so they start at 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Benjamin Pavard plays with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. And pulled back. Oh, a vital interception. And here's how it looks for Borussia Mönchengladbach. 
Jan Sommer is the goalkeeper. Matthias Ginter plays with Nico Elvedi in central defence. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Oh, he's given us away inexplicably. Coman. Oh, a nice looking pass. Now, will they do it from here? And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. A very good tackle. And foul it is then. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. A delicious piece of skill. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Coleman. Gnabry with it. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. Relentless high pressing. And Kone has it. Marcus Tuham. This looks promising. Might jump in front. Nicely blocked. Marcel Zabitza. Bayern pushing forward with options available. Take the lead here, and they have. You've got to say it has been coming. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at one nil. Coman, Goretzka, Marcel Zabitza. Gnabry pulls it back splendid defending great pressure to win the ball back Coman and the attack carried promise but petered out Marcus Tuham possession given away unfortunately Can they get in behind them? Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. And so it is, the first-half story has been... So back in business, underway again. Bayern with the advantage, but certainly no room for complacency. Zule onto Goretzka Sané oh breezing past him Coman giving it a try it's gone in well they're really in the mood here can they be stopped so 2-0 now say this looks promising but nothing comes of it good defending it was Goretzka Coman oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily Kone with it Hoffman now oh, they've lost the ball 
Well, Bayern have controlled the majority of possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think... Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. And there it is! Three goals in front now. An immense performance. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Hoffman. Oh, he's given it away. Coman. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Racing away here. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. And still dangerous. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Goretzka. Difficult to stop him. Could play it in. Making sure nothing came of it. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Hermann. Possession regained by Niklas Zule. Superb. Now that's a super ball over the top. That is a tackle and a half. Again, there to take it away. Kone with it. And it's a quality pass. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Did well to win the ball back. takes on the shot and a really good diving stop and there's the delivery and the danger still on right over for now it seems and they need to get tighter here timely intervention and one minute of stoppage time has been added on And that is going to be that. Well, uh...
Jack it up. Hello to you from the metropolis on the River Mine, the city of Frankfurt. We're at the Deutsche Bank Park. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It's Eintracht Frankfurt. Up again. Can he put it in? And there we go. It is the ideal opening. And the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Over the touch line for a throw in. Bore. Gibril So. What a shocking pass, really. Oh, a nice looking pass. That's a solid piece of defending when it looked as though it might go wrong for them. Getting forward. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. And you don't want to lose possession there. Oh, really close with that effort. them promising possession this the players waiting in the center but well, he was in the right place to intercept Alassane player Hoffman careless in possession Wasted possession again. He could really get at the opposition. Couldn't keep it. Kone. Hoffman. Can he play it in? A real struggle to contain him. Simple for the keeper. Rafael Santos Bore. Very quick thinking there. Zakaria. Alassane Player. Difficult to stop him. And they could face difficulties here. A delicious piece of skill. Daichi Kamada. Well, great read there to intercept. 
Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Poor pass under no real pressure. Player. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Oh, it was there for him. Well, it's not a good finish, is it? That was a glorious opportunity. So almost at half-time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Now the managers will now deliver their... Two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Intelligent threaded pass here. And possession given away. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Pressing high to win the ball. He's taken on his opponent here. And so it will be a corner. And short it is. Chandler. An alert piece of defending. Zakaria. Effective pressure to regain possession. Decent position. Chance to cross. goalkeeping and he's gone into an illegal position unfortunately Bonsabaini on to Stindl well he's been the standout for his side so far don't you think Stuart well it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad obviously he got his goal to put them in front but he's looked lively throughout too hopefully we see more of him in the second half well it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper Can they hit on the break? All hands on deck. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Good bit of pressing. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Stindl. A oh, terrific pass. It was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Good-looking ball. He has time to play it over. And reading it absolutely superbly. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Oh, a lovely, incisive pass. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Oh, he's given it away. That is a wonderful challenge, and they've kept the ball to boot. Kone with it. It looks promising. Good work to regain possession. Kostic. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. And space to cross it. And an astute piece of defending. Getting forward. Pulls it back. 
Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Alassane Plea. Nice looking pass. Using space on the opposite flank now. Not really the ideal clearance. I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And a fine tackle. And that is the end of the contest and not a happy...
is Bayern Munich facing Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, here is the Bayern side. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Benjamin Pavard plays with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Cuts it back. Oh, it's gone in! A significant deflection, leaving the keeper flummoxed. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Well, you've got to savour such moments. So. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Terrific piece of anticipation. It's a short one. Great block. Leroy Zane. On to Goretzka. Coman. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Bore. So. Intercepting it intelligently. Marcel Zabitza. Spot on with that tackle. They need to get tighter here. Can he open the door to a potential goal? Leroy Zane. No real threat, you've got to say. And the ball's gone. Oh, showing excellent vision, and Coman's in here, and a goal here for Bayern, beyond the goalkeeper, Bayern on terms. So the ball is rolling again at one all. An effective challenge. Oh, he's given it away. Marcel Zabitza. I'd be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Really good interception. Marcel Zabitza. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Ndika passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so and the whistle is sounded for Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Really good high press. Will he play it in? Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Going short. Chandler.
Then to take it away. Well, he's been the standout for a side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. Can he put it in? And he didn't hesitate. Good thing, too. Well, he's so quick off his line. That's great goalkeeping, you have to say. Tackle, take it away. And we have 30 minutes to go. And let's see what Bayern can do with this corner kick situation. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Chandler Daichi Kamada is this the moment ball is loose and in at the second time of asking but the goalkeeper badly at fault so the ball is rolling again 2-1 the score what's going to happen next and a strong tackle tremendous ball played through Going forward well here. Surely the equaliser. Excellent block. Counter attacking, very much an option. They've got it now. What can they do? Well, time just challenged magnificently. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Oh, surely. And it's there for him. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day. It's superb scoring for him. No shortage of goals in this match. 10 well not long to go and really Stuart all in all disappointing from a Bayern perspective well there's been a real lack of energy right from the start of the game certainly when they haven't had the ball they're closing down decision making and recovery runs just haven't been good enough Visualisation and execution. Now the attack fizzled out. Well, there goes the final whistle, and it's all gone.
And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It is Bayern Munich up against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Options in the middle. Chance here. Pulls it back. It's still there for him. Gnabry. Goretzka. Extremely sloppy in possession. Do they mean business on this occasion? But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. This attack looks highly promising. Won it back. And fed forwards. He's in behind the defence here. Kone, Braille Embolo. In behind for him to chase. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Well, he moved into an illegal position. Well, he had the vision to pick out the through ball, but he couldn't play it quite quickly enough. There's a slide rule pass. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Pavard. The ball with Zabitza. And he's made headway. Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Offside. Well, he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there. Just let the ball be played into the space. Goretzka. Can they forge ahead? Top class defending. Kone. Promising possession, this. Not really the ideal clearance. Decided to take on the shot from a difficult angle. Not a memorable effort, though. Well, you have to question the decision-making there. Could he have cut it back? The angle was always against him. Marcel Zabitza. It did look on for them, but not to be. Marcus Tuham. And Bayern have the ball once more. And Foxing the defender, but the danger averted for now. Poor pass. Real chance. And it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Marcel Zabitza. On to Goretzka. I must say, this looks promising. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. 
Well, not giving him any breathing room. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good, and he got better as the half wore on. This could be the equaliser. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Can they hit on the break? Gnabry, will it be sufficiently imaginative? And the referee says corner kick. Something to worry about here. Goretzka using his body to good effect. So Bayern get ready for their set piece routine, hoping to increase their lead. The corner kicks keep on coming. Well, opting for the short corner. A wonderful intervention. And a throw in forthcoming. Sané. Could play it in. Real chance. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. And over comes the corner. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And a chance to level it. Leon Goretzka. Pavard. And he saw the situation developing. Chance to do damage. No high quality defending. advantage with them referee says play on and options in the center and a bit short with the clearance he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge splendid tackle and a throw in coming up well, the referee allowed them to continue, but now he's going to go back and hand out the yellow card, Stuart. Well, he thought he was going to get away with that, but quite rightly, he's got a booking. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Patrick Herrmann. Jonas Hofmann on the ball. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Bayern have given it away. And still dangerous. Well, no damage done. Well, these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to them. Surely this will inspire the players to hang on here. What a noise we've got. And a chance to whip it in here. Pulls it back. And that is the end of the contest and not a happy outcome as far...
And welcome to one of Germany's great cities, Frankfurt. We're here at the Deutsche Bank Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Eintracht Frankfurt up against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Can he make a count? Real chance. And diving to thwart him. So the corner played into the box. And the problem not completely solved. Blocked it brilliantly. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Lars Stindl. Player. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate Derek, a game. Big moment, this. Was it the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? If so, he's off. Zakaria. On to Stindl. Promising attack, this. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. That's a very impressive piece of defending. It's a good looking ball in behind. And he's found a bit of daylight. And a goal! They've taken the lead! Well, playing a man short, but that doesn't seem to bother them. We shouldn't be surprised. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? He goes. No, nothing productive, really. Kone. Alassane player. Dangerous looking through ball. And up for grabs off the keeper. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, that was quality. This could square the game. And cleared away. Good tackle. Well, as the stats confirm, Gladbach have struggled to get control of the ball so far, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Oh, they far. could put it away, Stuart, and they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. I must say, this looks promising. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And nobody there to pick him up in the centre. The save was a good one. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. On a time for composure on the ball. And they could really get at the opposition. But they dealt with the threat posed. So the whistle then. We're up the half. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Kone. Hoffman. Not 
can they do from here? It should be! And now it is there for him. In it goes! But it will not stand. Offside, Stewart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. It's a perfect challenge. And he read it well, intercepting it. Can he put it in? And now he must score. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, a second goal for them here. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. A bit sloppy in possession. Counter attacking, very much an option. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. Cutting the ball back. He's blocked it. Has eyes for goal. Couldn't quite finish. Well, if they can just get one, it will certainly make it interesting. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Cuts in from the flank. Well, trying the chip, but he got the execution all wrong. Well, if he had the chance again, I think he'd choose another option. Not even close in the end. And they do like to press whenever they can. Chance, player! He knew he had to make the tackle, and did. Effective pressure to regain possession. And attempting the through ball. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Player. Opportunity here. Penalty in the opinion of the referee. And this is seriously getting away from them. Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty, yes, yellow card, no. And the spot kick is converted as coldly as you like. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. It's opening up for them. Can he finish? Well, last gas defending, but brilliant defending. It's a really poor challenge. Now, uh, what's the referee going to do about it? They've given it away. Alassane player. Well, he's lost the ball. Kamada. Oh, good vision. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Not quite the accuracy he was looking for. That'll be a goal kick. Alassane Player. Player. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Now can they counter clinically? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Well, if only he had timed his run slightly better. Offside. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home...